Hello, hello, YouTube, and welcome, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks. Today we're gonna be looking at a replay from Rip Red 94. He's from Muna Lunar Rebellion, which is the same clan as I am, so he is my clanmate. And uh, today I told him that uh, my next my next video is gonna be about scouting, and a few hours later he has one amazing scouting game on his T50-2, which we see here. So let's take a look. It's already there's already a Swiss scout there. Trying to detect anyone as possible. Nice shot on the ELC AMX. Nice shot on the move. He's trying to get as many tanks as he can here. Just give them some initial damage. And now they're all gone. And somehow the Swiss Scout managed to return alive. That's something you don't see every day. Remember kids, Swiss Scouting is bad for your team. So the ISA takes the front and says, hey, let's take the hill. T-29 appearing. But eh, no shot there. Nice shot from the artillery. It takes 520 damage off the... T-34 and nobody there I guess takes a shot and nope okay so now he's deciding I'm gonna go up the hill try to scout a little bit up there CAMX dies. Why? I know that few. Dylan. Platooning up with Rip Red. Another one from Luna. And there Rip Red says, hey, I'm gonna go scouting. So the team gets ready. And he goes right down the middle. There he goes. Light up Steve 44. Light up some light ups uh, the comet and then he goes back. You see he doesn't hang around. He's not gonna try to play with that guy with those guys. They're way too big for him. So he lights them up and he goes back into hiding. He's no use to anyone if he's dead. And that's the primary role of the scout is to stay alive. Stay alive and keep telling your, your allies the position of the enemy tanks. That's all that's what scouting is all about staying alive and and repassing the position of your enemies oh and he flies there and he almost gets tracked i don't believe i don't i don't know how he didn't get tracked there he he told me as much he was just as surprised as i was that he did not get tracked there trying to get a moving shot on this proportion never gonna happen it's almost, it's almost impossible to hit the super version weak spots uh, at this range, much less moving. So he's doing circles, making sure that all these guys are kept lit up. See, there he goes again. Always making sure to stay behind the cover of the, those houses. The problem here is that this top of the hill doesn't have any indestructible cover. As at most that this little hill which is passing over but he has to rely on his speed and maneuverability in order to keep from getting killed so he sees those guys he sees there's the is8 almost dead kv4 almost dead and he thinks hey i can help my team do a little bit of damage and the kv4 gets killed before he gets there so there's a lot of enemy tanks here and only the T-34 holding the node and right where, he, where he's gonna get it. The T-34 is killed and he managed to take a shot and gets hit by the Panther 2. Try the Tiger moves forward. He's trying to tackle on the T-44. Gets tracked. He moves up, tries to get a shot at the T-44. But no such luck. Now this is, this is a fun part. He has a lot of backup. The T-44 knows that if he see, if he ever dares to come out too much, he's gonna get nailed. See, right there. So what he does, he points his ass directly at the T-44, 
he's like saying, here's my ass, come and get it, I know you want it. And the T-44 knows that if he goes out there, he's gonna get it. And uh, Rip Red knows that he there's the cover of the hill, which he can go under very fast. He's pretty much trying to lure them out. That's a very nice tactic. Risky, but if it works, it pays off quite nicely. So, ouch. The Tiger gets hit hard by the enemy SU-8. So now he decides to go downhill and see what he can find down here. Oh, and the Ferdinand blows up right as it passes. Lucky that shot wasn't destined for him. And there's the IS-8 hiding behind the church. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> he could have he could have been killed right here. Panther 2, he's gonna stop very quickly. He's gonna take a shot and he manages to kill the Panther 2. Very nice shot. And he keeps moving. Keep on the move. That's right. There's the IS-8 still hanging behind that building. He says, you know what? I'm gonna go after that IS-8. Oh, he's gonna get it. Takes a fast approach. And there he goes. Let's let's slow motion this. Let's just slow motion this. It's beautiful. Watch this. Overkill. <laughs> that was so overkill. Both artilleries and him firing at the IS-8. He never stood a chance. And he gets the final kill. So now he has two kills. He's lighting them up pretty well. He's keeping on the move, using his speed and his maneuverability as his uh, armor, per se. You can see he never tries to rush or go to the front line. He keeps to the sides. He keeps going through the shadows. And there's a tiger. Now he... That tiger is something you should worry about. And he is worried about there. Look at that. Nice dodge. The tiger can't hit him. And he keeps them lit. He keeps them distracted. He says, here I am. Tasty little annoying fella, come and get me. Oh, and there's the enemy artillery, M12, gotta take him down quickly, and he disappears. Nice and now he's just hiding back, taking shots at whatever he can find. The Super Pershing decided to go down the middle, and is now pretty much uh, doing the spawning work here. But yeah, not so smart to, to go head on like that with a Super Pershing. And the M12 gets killed and he goes to find the other RT. There is the other RT. He goes in for the kill. And boom. Oh, no luck. Woo. And that's it. That's a very nice victory. And oh my god, that was some really awesome scouting action. Let's let's just list the, the number of things he did and why he did them. He kept on the move, that's really important if you don't have cover. Keep on the move, your speed and your maneuverability are your armor. He doesn't have much armor to speak of and he doesn't have any cover he can take advantage of. So keep moving, don't stop. Let's see what else. He goes to find the Artie, that's one of the scouts main job. Find the enemy artillery, get him, get him killed. Because it's it's easy to go artillery, they have no armor whatsoever, so Yep. He spots one two one or two enemy tanks and he immediately backs down. This is one thing that I've seen many, many, many scouts doing wrong. They just charge down and they find one enemy tank and they just keep going forward, taking hits as they pass, trying to light up as many enemies as they can. 
But here is where Rip Red is different from those uh, so-called Sue Scouts. He puts his survival, survival in first place. That's the most important thing because a dead scout is not useful to anyone. So his survivability is the first priority here. Spot them, get behind cover. That's what you should do. It was a very nice, nice gameplay. Flanking. He's got the f he's got the speed and he's got the maneuverability to flank. You can see how he he goes right behind that IS-8 and manages to kill him. Distraction. He kept all four enemy tanks, which were down around this area, kept them distracted, taking shots at him while his teammates wrecked them. You're you're fast. You're very maneuverable, so you can pretty much dodge shots easily. So, yeah. Great uh, distraction tool. He tries to lure him out, as you could see on the on this part of the map. He was trying to lure them out. He knew he had plenty of cover to get behind to. He knew, he knew that he had the speed to go behind the cover. So he just points his ass at them and says, Here's my juicy ass, come, come and get it. And <laughs> if, if they come out, they get they get wrecked and that's exactly what happened so yeah you can see this was a very good scouting game and he actually uh, he didn't manage to save a screenshot of the end plates but he sent to me um, the things he got so let let me just check here real quick okay so okay here we go he got 3,458 experience. That's a times two for his first victory of the day. He got 38,370 credits. And now here's the really cool part. Battle achievements. He got patrol duty. That means that he was lighting the enemy up while the your, while your allies are jacking them up. And mastery badge ace tanker. So you can see how good this game was. And here is the most impressive stat. Damage upon spotting. 5116. I shit you not. I shit you not. 5116 damage upon spotting. That means that he was lighting the enemies up. Uh, his allies couldn't naturally see them. So they relied upon him to relay their positions allowing them to see the enemy and shoot them and that's how much damage his allies managed to put in all those tanks that he was keeping lit this is a true scout this is a true scout it's the scout that relays enemy positions to your allies who can't see them and let them do the heavy work let them jack them up and you can see how rewarding this was Without him, I don't I don't think his team would have stood much of a chance. Because that's that's just ridiculous. Five thousand one hundred and sixteen damage upon spotting. That is insane. So uh yep, yeah, that's pretty much everything. This uh, it's a very good example of what you should do as a scout. No so scouting please, that doesn't help anyone. I mean we know <laughs> where the enemy team is 20 seconds into the game they're right there nearby their base we know that we don't need a, a su scout going straight at their base to tell us what we already know it doesn't help the team at all it's just people who, who are trying to get scout medals which i think it's one of the most worthless medals because yeah okay you can get a scout medal by doing good scouting but in the end it's the one of the most abusable ones because you can just rush and uh, get the scout medal. So the patrol duty is one of the most epic achievements you can get and that's what you should be aiming for, patrol duty. That mean, that's, the, that's the mark of a really good scout. You are now forever branded, Rip Red, by the mark of a true scout. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
next uh, next Thursday or Friday there's a new video coming up of a very aggressive kind of scouting uh, using a tank which is capable of derping so stay tuned for that it's really fun and it's also a really good game and i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment favorite and subscribe to my channel for more videos and never wish signing out see you later